iPhone SE iOS 11 public beta review that's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and as requested the iPhone SE has gotten iOS 11 public beta and we're going to review it here. So let me go ahead and boot it up and you can see that I do have a pink one here. This is a 16 gigabyte model but we're going to talk about some of the features and see how it's running here for the iPhone SE. Now I can tell you before it even boots up that I've been using it for quite a few days and it's actually running one of the best on the iPhone SE meaning that it is running pretty great here in comparison to the other iPhones that have iOS 11 public beta right now so if you got an SE it's definitely running pretty great here for this phone here so you've seen it booted up quite quickly as well all right guys so confirming that we are on iOS 11 you can see version number 15a 5304j 15a 5304i would have been the beta release so this is definitely the public release it's still a beta edition but I'm talking about the developer betas that we were covering on the channel earlier last month. So you can see right here, definitely pretty slick and smooth here, just on general performance. I'm not gonna get too technical here for the iPhone SE. Going through the control center, not bad there. So if you've seen the iPhone 5S beta reviews or the iPhone 6, you would see that those older processors are getting a little bit you know, slow when it comes to handling this iOS. But we should see if that improves going forward into the newer betas that are gonna come later this year as well as the official release which we will cover and do a full in-depth features review and everything on that when the fall official release releases so you can go in the new app store and you can see not bad there I'm not gonna go through a bunch of apps and waste time this thing right here definitely performs pretty decent on the iPhone SE I'm not seeing a lot of lag here but some of the new features included within the iOS 11 here for the iPhone SE are gonna be things like the new control center so this is a new customizable control center it also has kind of like 3d touch functions built right into the older phone so if you miss 3d touch on some of the other phones you're gonna like the fact that you get it here on the iPhone SE it's not fully 3d touch but it's kind of like a hold down and it's nice to see that and that makes me think could Apple actually go ahead and make their whole iOS do functions like this just like 3d touch on non 3d touch phones that's that's food for thought right there so let's go into the settings and show you that there's also a new do not disturb mode built right into the iOS 11 here and the public release you can now use the do not disturb while driving mode so you activate this automatically or manually and this is not going to let you use your phone while driving so it's kind of like a safety feature there now also if you go into the app store you can see that you do have the new app store updated design we have the today's view here we have the games view here the apps view and the updates view now this thing is definitely going to help those out in need of a cleaner software on a smaller iPhone so definitely pretty good stuff here if you have a smaller iPhone on the bigger iPhone it actually probably takes up more space than it gives you but for smaller iPhones definitely a nice touch there also you only get a new calculator design here so there's not many applications that have changed in design in terms of the system apps but the calculator is one and also the weather app is one as well so bottom down here on the weather it does get bigger also there's a new screenshot function so if we hit the screenshot take a screenshot there and you can see it actually allows you to edit right on here on the phone you can draw you can share it right there and you could also delete it from right there in addition you can swipe it away like so let's get this thing out of here like so to the left so if we go into the settings on the iPhone SE there's also a new feature called screen recording you have to enable it from the control center so you can customize controls here and you go down and you have the screen recording option here so now you can go ahead and screen record straight from the public release if you wanted to show some tutorials or something like that online the screen will be recording it'll save into your photos in addition to that if we go into the accessibility mode here for the iPhone let's go into accessibility general let's find general let's go into accessibility let's find Siri down here let's find it Siri you also have type to Siri so now if you hold down Siri you can type your text so we've seen this before on phones like the Google Pixel as well as other Android phones where you can type to the Google Assistant so that's a nice thing there also it's 11 public release on the iPhone SE you do get a different Siri look so down here if you start talking you can see 
that's the new Siri icon, or it's like the new design there for Siri. So that's new there for iOS 11 as well. And there's so much more that we can cover in iOS 11, but I'm gonna wait for the fall official release to show you everything you need to know about these features, unless you guys wanna see some of them sooner, like hidden features and stuff like that. But that's pretty much the main features that you need to know about here. And overall, the design is not too much different from iPhone. I actually wish iOS would have changed a little bit more, but we should mention that the public release gives you the file system, although this is kind of half baked right now, it's not fully functional in the same way that it will be later in the fall. So I would definitely say the file system not ready for prime time yet. In addition, you also get Apple Pay within messages, but that will not be available again to the fall. So this is a beta, things are still not ready, but those are some of the core main features that you might wanna know about for iOS 11 here for the iPhone SE, the public release. All right guys, so let's go ahead and check out that camera just to make sure that is working properly because the camera is a big feature that we have to have if we're gonna be running a beta, slow-mo time-lapse, see if no crashes here. Square, a little bit slow there opening the square panel. So panel works good. Let's go ahead and see if the flash is working here. So the flash should be working if I turn it on here. Actually went ahead and took a picture, but it's not letting me do flash there in the camera. So let me come out of here flash is working so the flashlight does work here on ios 11 beta 2 and going into the camera you can see again everything is working just fine here in the camera so no issues in terms of the camera for ios 11 beta 2. all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and run a benchmark here on the iphone se just to see if you know it changes going forward as we cover the future releases so pay attention to the score as you watch the upcoming videos on the channel you're gonna see if the benchmark does improve. So let's see what we get here for iOS 11 beta public release. So we're gonna hit run benchmark and I'll be back in just a second when it is done. All right guys, so you can see right here, I did get a score of 2536 on the single core and 4401 on the multi-core for the iPhone SE. Now taking a quick look at multitask, you can see it's pretty smooth here for iOS 11. I'm pretty shocked at how well the iPhone SE is performing here on iOS 11, the public release beta. Now it's only gonna get better over time. There's definitely a lot of bugs within this release, but you might be asking the question, okay, Nick, I seen your review now. I like what you've done, but should I download it? I need a direct answer from you. Should I download it? And I got a clear answer for you here. You should download it if you want to try it. I wouldn't recommend you to download this for the daily basis. If you can get away with using this for the daily basis, but I can tell you right now, you're going to have overall a better experience on the latest official releases that Apple is releasing, whether that be iOS 10.3.2, the 10.3.3 that should be available soon. You know, these are the releases I would say stay on right now. This one is just kind of showing you how iOS 11 is progressing and developing over time as we are going to be covering the full on official review here on the channel but if you want to do this download i do recommend you do a backup i'm not responsible if you brick your phone so definitely i'm telling you right here do a backup on your iphone se make sure you have an ios 10.3.2 backup file downloaded so you, in case you got to go back to that you can do that and there's video on my channel how to go back to ios 10.3.2 Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and click the like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next iOS 11 video. Be sure to be well and peace.